everyone, this is Paul from The Outdoor Adventure. A while ago I posted a video showing how I make a version of Mark Jury's Penny Alcohol Backpacking Stove. And now I want to show how I make the stand for it. What you're going to need is your stove. You're going to need a metal coat hanger. Make sure it's not aluminum or else you'll have problems. It's going to warp on you. A multi-tool or pliers and a ruler and a marker to mark your measurements. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take apart the coat hanger and straighten it out. Now there's a couple different factors that you're going to have to take into account when you make your own. How wide is your pot? And how high is your stove? You're going to want the top of this pot stand to be about an inch above your stove and so you take that mark your stove the measurement the height of your stove and then mark another inch beyond that And that's going to be the height of your pot stand and you can go ahead and start if you want to bend that around to be a right angle. Alright, there you are. Now you're going to want to make two of these exactly the same. So if it's easier for you to make the measurement and then cut it and then make another one the same length, then go ahead and do that. Now. As I said, you're going to want to measure it to your pot. There's two ways of doing this. You can have it so the flat part is on the ground and you're resting your pot on the points. Or with the points on the ground and you rest your pot on the cross piece of the metal. I like to have the points down, otherwise if you move your pot off and you're waiting to it to cool down, you've got three spikes which can injure you on the trail. So I'm going to take the measurement of that pot Remember that you're going to want to put this inside your pot when you're done, so don't make it too large, just as wide as you're going to need it. All right. And that's going to fit right inside. All right, so then you're going to want to bend that over. Again. and cut that at the same height and do it with the same. So there are my two pieces for my pot stand. What I do next is I take my pliers, I take the leftover wire and I wrap it around the pliers until I have a little hole. So I wind that around, I turn it on a right angle and I do it again. Again, turning it at a right angle. Now the reason for this is that if you have just one piece of wire, these two pieces won't stay together, but if you have a little channel like that, they're going to stay together when you put them together. Now all you have to do next is crimp that so the wire pieces don't fall out, and then clip off the extra wire. And there you have your stand, just straighten up the legs as needed. Now if you're finding your piece of wire it slides off, just take your pliers and angle your feet at the very bottom just a little bit. And that's going to prevent them sliding off. It's sturdy. I'm pushing down with a lot of weight and it's not moving. Now what's more, as I said before, when you're done with it, it just goes right in the bottom of your pot and it takes up practically no extra space. Mm -hmm.